on, hold on, I'm talking. I was mentioning other folks, other people in the business. Now we have to erase it, because I don't want to say anything nice about anybody else. That's not the Republican way. I'm clowning. We have Charles Aldrich, Libertarian candidate for U.S. Senate. Um, we're excited to have him on. Anybody who's willing to throw their hat in the ring and take on the likes of not only just Patty Judge, who's a, a tough campaigner, but Chuck Grassley, who obliterates anybody that stands in his way. This That takes some guts. How many counties have you visited so far in your campaign? At least a dozen. At least a dozen? Well, I had to get signatures, so I was visiting different counties, and I kept track of how many counties I was in as I was collecting signatures. In order to get on the ballot, I had to have at least 10, so I got signatures from at least a dozen counties. All right. Do you plan on visiting any other counties? Yes. During this. Right. Uh, next weekend, I'll be in Dubuque speaking there because one of the affiliates uh, set up a speaking engagement for me. All right. Um, that That's terrific. Where are you going to be speaking? It's at a restaurant. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the restaurant. Well, honest to God, it's Pizza Ranch because I will tell you, nobody else... If you're not campaigning at Pizza Ranch, you're not campaigning. That's what I'm going to tell you. So you have a, excuse me, a speech coming up next week at a restaurant in Dubuque. Yes. All right. Do you have any other speeches lined up anywhere? I was told that there that speech is going to be on at noon, and in Davenport they may have an opening where it may be four or five o'clock. All right, that's fantastic. Now, I'm going to assume you didn't quit your job to go do this? No. All right, that's smart. I work as a contract engineer, and currently I'm between contracts. Really? So you got plenty of time to go monkey with this? Yes. All right. Yeah. Now, on a personal note, you married, kids, any of that? I'm single. I've got three adult children. One of them lives with me. She's the head housekeeper for the Boulder Hotel. Up in up in, in, in Clarion. Oh, it's right. a new hotel that opened about a year ago. Fantastic. And uh, so you're, you're single, got three kids, which, you know, you skip half my lecture. My lecture is don't get married, don't have kids. But, you know, can't, <laughs> can't help that, you know. Um, uh, you're, a con- uh, you're an engineer, which means you're pretty smart. Where'd you go to school? Platteville, Wisconsin. 20 right, miles you, from Dubuque. Oh, wow. So you're going to be heading back up to your old stomping grounds then. I all right. have been through there a few times. Well, all right. So where's your so where's your Green Bay Packers stuff with your cheese head? I mean, I, th- I thought everybody from Wisconsin had a cheese head. I never really got involved in football. Oh, all right, all right. That's probably good. Um, uh, what kind of things... Do you think you're going to bring different to the U.S. Senate besides the fact that you're a libertarian? Information to people about, um, like health food, what's actually healthy, what should be avoided. I know that there's a lot of people who wonder why the federal government is... Um, restricting some drugs and allowing others where other countries are banning the drugs that the federal government allows. They're not good for us, but they're not bad enough that they're going to be banned. It's like some of the uh, medicines that are approved by FDA, they kill people because they get addicted to it they're not working as well as when they first take them, so they take more, so they overdose and die. Where with pot, it relieves the pain, and it doesn't addict you, and nobody has ever died from an overdose of pot. All right. Um, and well, that we know of, because it's been illegal, nobody admits to it. Um, we're uh, we've we've done shows on marijuana before, so we're going to refer you to those shows previously. In fact, last week we had a little bit of it on there. Um, 
how how are you doing your fundraising? Self funding. All right. So begging and pleading. For the most part. Yeah, there you go. And, that, and that's <laughs> that's how you do it. You have to do the ask. And I, I was no good at it. Uh, in fact, a lot of people I know aren't good at it. Uh, I, I uh, had the good fortune of knowing Chuck since I was a kid. and uh, Or, excuse me, Senator Grassley. And I have seen this guy. Um, I have never seen him ask for money. and But yet everybody still gives. I have never figured out that guy's secret. Because if I could go around campaign, not ask for money, and have people give it to me, that would be awesome. I have campaigned with other people, Bob Vanderplotz, namely – He's got a gift, an absolute gift for asking for money. I want to tell you how he does it. You want, you want to know how he does it? Yes, I'd like to know. He gets up there, he gives a speech. And then at the end, he says, if you believe what I believe, and if you believe in me, help me continue my campaign just a little bit. That's all you have to give. And you could talk to this guy right over here, this man right over here. That's how he does it. And I have, I have actually seen, you know, you get those, those cannons at the baseball game where they're shooting T-shirts up in the crowd? Yeah. Honest to goodness, I have seen that except with money. Guys standing in the back just firing money right at them. It was amazing <laughs> to see that, right? That was a whole lot of fun. Charles, we're going to wrap up the show. We want to thank everybody for tuning in. Is there anything you want to, you want to tell your voters before we sign off? Uh, one of the things is, if you look at the ages... Grassley's in his 80s. Judge is in her 70s. I'm in my 50s. So I'm the baby of the group. <laughs> and if you want some new um, ideas, I think Grassley has pretty much gone through his ideas. And Judge may not have a whole lot more, but I've got well, some new ju ones. Judge has no ideas. I'll just throw that one out there. And Chuck, have you have you met Chuck? Have you seen him, met him face to face or anything like that? I have. Well, you would never think that that guy's eighty years old. He looks younger than me. I kid you not. So, um, anyway, we hope they invite you. I I think this is BS. I think Libertarian should, candidates should be invited to these debates. That's my opinion. Um, anyway, we want to thank Charles Aldrich for for coming on. You know, you have a website. Tell us what your website is. Website is charlesaldrichlc.com. The LC stands for Libertarian Candidate. All right, Charles Aldrich. We spell it right up there? Right there? Uh, no. No. A L D R I C H. -I -C -H. No E. No E. So it's Charles Aldrich uh, LC. LC. Com. All right, terrific. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We couldn't do what we do without you. We will be back right after this week. Hi, I'm Representative Tom Shaw, and I love these guys, both of them. Love these guys. <laughs> get over here, get over here. Love both of them.